Hey guys, what's up? It's Candice and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do my very first drugstore makeup haul for you guys. Now, one of the things that I really hope for my channel is I want it to be very interactive with you guys. I want you all to comment and ask questions and request certain things to be featured on my channel. I want all of those things. So I figured I would go to the drugstore buy some products um, whether they be new launches or just new to me meaning products that i have not tried yet um, show you all what all i got and then you all can kind of sound off in the comment section below and let me know which products you would actually like to see me do a full review on so i'll demo the product um, and actually give you my thoughts, opinions, the whole nine on camera for you guys. Um, and I figured that would probably be the best way to go about doing these hauls so you don't just have to see a bunch of products that I purchased without actually demonstrating how those products work or my thoughts and opinions on whether or not they're worth your money. So now you know what to do with this video. So let's go ahead and not ramble on too much because I actually have quite a few products. Now, and I will say this, all of these products were not purchased in one trip. These are kind of collection of products that I've gotten over the last month or so, and I've kind of been stockpiling so I can do this grand review. Um, but all of them are drugstore products, meaning you can go to any of your local CVS's, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, anything like that, purchase the, these products. And all of them, I do believe, are under $15. And I actually think that may be a little bit on the high end. I want to say it's more along the lines of everything is under $12.99. So if you're interested to see this first ever drugstore beauty slash makeup haul, then keep on watching. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and jump right into this so that this is not a long drawn out video. Let's first start with application. I have said before um, that I really like to use a beauty sponge. I do have a ton of makeup brushes, but at the end of the day, when I'm applying foundations, I do prefer if it's a liquid foundation to apply it with a beauty sponge of some sort. Now, people are always raving about the Beauty Blender, and the Beauty Blender is everything that it is cracked up to be. It is absolutely amazing. However, not everybody wants to go out and spend $20 on the original beauty blender. So I do have two dupes to actually recommend. Um, one of them you can actually purchase in the drugstore, which is this one. This is the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. And here's what it looks like. Now, this is not the first time that I have purchased this. I've actually purchased several of these over the course of the last couple of years and I really really like this sponge um, it works the same as a beauty blender as far as you dampen it before you actually start using it um, so it does get a lot a little bit bigger but it is great for foundations you all and the thing about it is the beauty blender the original beauty blender brand is $20 where this is actually on sale at your local Walgreens for $5.99 I do believe so I would definitely recommend checking this out, uh, the Real Techniques brand. And the other one that I recommend, um, you cannot buy it in a drugstore, but it is drugstore pricing. Um, and that is the Morphe Foundation Complexion uh, Beauty Sponge. It's the red sponge. It comes in a couple different shapes, but the red one is absolutely amazing for foundations. And I believe it is $7. And you can purchase that on morphebrushes.com. Again, all of these products that I'm talking about and any links that I reference, I will have them listed in the description box below. Now, the next one. Now, I did go ahead and buy a couple of foundation products. And actually three to be, on, um, to be quite honest, but all of them were less than six bucks. So that's the great thing. And then before I even go any further, if you have a Walgreens in your area, they have a beauty enthusiast, um, enthusiast program in addition to their um, just normal Walgreens reward points program. And it's specifically for your purchases on beauty products. So you get double the rewards and those rewards, um, your, those points equate to dollar values that you, you can use for like a cash back on future purchases. And you get um, coupons to go along with those purchases. So all of, this, all of these products I actually got for borderline a steal. Um, I, once you um, couple all that with the Beauty Enthusiast points that you use for your cash back, um, your regular uh, Walgreens points if you choose to cash them out towards the purchase, and then all of the sales and coupons 
all of these were literally less than 50% off. And a lot of them were buy one, get the other 50% off. And that was including sale prices. So really great, great deal on all of these products. So if you have a Walgreens, I definitely would recommend you go and checking out and signing up for their beauty enthusiast pro enthusiast program. Why can't I say that word? Okay. So getting into the, um, and I have lipstick on my teeth. Every time I wear this lipstick, um, I always get lipstick on my teeth and it is the, um, Kylie lip kit. And I can't, I think it's Vixen. It is like the worst as far as caking up and getting on your teeth. Oh, well. Okay. So I did get three foundations. Um, the first one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, Hydrating Tint. And what is so, supposed to be so great about this is it's very similar to, I think it's got the same properties in it as that, um, the Neutrogena Hydrating Hydro Boost Moisturizer in the blue, like the blue like liquid gel thing um, that everybody is raving about. And it, because it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it's gonna keep you nice and moisturized and plump all day long. And it does say that it is good for 24 hours of wear. So that is a long time. And if you're familiar with Clinique, which is more on your higher end uh, spectrum of foundations, it has that large doe foot applicator and this one does too, which I am really excited about. The only thing about Neutrogena is it doesn't have a ton of uh, shade. So the shade range is, is a little bit lacking, but also too, in the area where I live, there, um, there aren't a lot of um, women of color shopping in the drugstore. Therefore, the drugstore shade choices are very, very scarce. So this is really the only color I had to choose from and it is Chestnut 135. Um, so I will give this a whirl and see what happens. Very excited to try this out. And again, everything was less than $12.99 um, and that was regular price. That's not including what the sale prices were. So if this actually works and it does a good job, then this is definitely worth the money and I might go and stockpile this. <laughs> the other foundation I got is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Dewy Plus Smooth Finish um, Foundation. And I did get this in 355 Coconut. And this is not a new foundation, but I think they've kind of rebranded and it's a new look. Um, and it says that it's got SPF 18 in it and this is recommended for normal to dry skin. So I do believe all of the Fit Me foundations are either medium to full um, or medium to buildable full um, or they are full, but this is the dewy and smooth foundation. So excited to try that out. And then just sticking with Maybelline Fit Me, I also got the matching Fit Me powder to go with the foundation and I got the loose finishing powder in Deep 35. So excited to try those out. And the last foundation that I picked up, um, again, this is not new, but it's new to me. I've not tried any NYX complexion products, but this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Um, and here's what this packaging looks like. And I did get it in the color TCDF19. That's a weird color name, like, I don't know. But it is considered, oh, okay. So this can be, you can like determine your own coverage. So it comes in a little dropper. So here, let me open it. It comes in a little dropper. And if you want just light coverage, then it says to do two drops. If you want medium coverage, do three drops and full coverage, do four drops. So you really can use this regardless of what type of look you're going for. Oh, this is small. This is only 0.43 fluid ounces, where um, the other two are both one fluid ounces. So this is very small, but again, it was super duper cheap. <laughs> so for this, again, it has the little dropper. Um, not really a, ooh, she's liquidy. Ooh, she's super runny, y'all. I don't know if I like that. But either way, we're gonna give it a whirl if you all want to see it. So make sure you are keeping track of all the products you want to see me review and then just sound off in the comment section. Now, moving on, I also picked up a couple other things from the Maybelline line. And this is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighters. And I actually got two different colors. As you can see, they are gorgeous. 
I hope you all can't hear my dogs. They are going crazy upstairs. Um, so I actually got the molten rose gold and then just the regular molten gold. Um, again, I know I had talked about her in my previous video, but if you all follow Glam Life Guru, which is Tati Westbrook here on YouTube, she absolutely raves about these highlighters and they are part of her holy grail. If you check out one of her recent videos, she did a highlighter declutter and she had over a hundred like I think over 125 highlighters and she somehow pared it down to just 25 and these made the cut. So of course I had to go pick these up. Very excited to try these out and whether you all, you all want to see it or not, I'm definitely trying these out. <laughs> and the last product from Maybelline that I picked up is the Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. And this is what this looks like. So it's got a couple blush shades and a highlight shade. So very excited to try this out. Now, um, sticking with NYX, um, I did pick up four other products from NYX and I've got a um, eyebrow pencil, a retractable eyeliner, a uh, badonka donk <laughs> lush last mascara, and then I also picked up the NYX HD concealer. So. All three, uh, four of these products I will be testing out too. So you guys let me know. And the last product that I picked up is, I think anytime you buy drugstore products, I think everybody just focuses on the actual face products, the foundation, the blush, the highlighters, the brow products, etc. And I think people forget that there are some good drugstore um, setting sprays. Now, even though I've not tried this before, I have seen so many reviews on this setting spray and everyone seems to love it. And for the price of $6, I figured it was worth the shot. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray and I actually this is just a small travel size so this was actually like $2.99 um, I just bought this to try and figure out um, to try and make sure I like it so I'm actually traveling next week so I will make sure I throw this in my bag and take it with me um, oh oh forgot one more thing so I did pick up a cover girl so last so lashy blast pro mascara and it says it comes with a lash finder, which I really don't know what that is, but I guess once I get in here, open it, I will figure out what it is. But here's what the packaging looks like. And this was actually on closeout at Walgreens, so it was only $1.90. So this was the last one that was available. It looked like someone had literally gone into Walgreens and cleared out every single closeout item in the beauty aisle. Um, the beauty aisle. So I somehow I got my hands on this one, um, but I'm definitely anxious to try this out. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I told you I was going to try to wrap this up and make this quick. I didn't want this to be a long drawn out uh, video, but those are all of the products that I picked up. Um, oh, I forgot this Revlon lip gloss. I'm not going to do a review on it. Um, and I wasn't going to include this just because this is just kind of like one that I had to pick up because I have been wearing this lip gloss for seven years. Um, the makeup artist that did my makeup for my wedding, she actually used this lip gloss on me for my wedding day and I absolutely love it and I've been purchasing it ever since and I was out so I picked it up. But this is the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous um, Lip Gloss and I use the color uh, Rosy Feature uh, number 260. And y'all, this lip gloss is amazing. I love the color, the coverage. It gives you a little bit of color, but it's mostly just, a, you know, a high gloss. Um, absolutely love it. So anyways, you all, I don't want to keep this long and drawn out, but I wanted to show you all the products that I picked up, particularly the foundations and the powder and the uh, blush and highlight pal palette. Um, if you all want to see a review of any of those products, or at least just to get my thoughts and opinions on what I think about them, and if it's worth going to your local drugstore to see if they have them and actually making the purchase, please let me know. Sound off in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see. Also, if there are products that I didn't mention, whether they are high end or low end, please be sure to list those as well. One of the things that I really want to make sure I capture on this channel is a good mix of both drugstore and high end products because, you know, some people only wear certain, you know, brands of makeup, you know, uh, high-end makeup, and other people are like, I really don't care. I have a good mix of both, and there's some people that only shop in the drugstore. 
doesn't matter to me. I don't judge either way because I shop, you know, all across the board. I have your drugstore and I've got the high end. So I'm going to show you everything regardless. But if there are things in particular that you want to see, I would love to hear from you guys. Okay. Let me know. Again, sound off in the comment section. And I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. Let me make sure I make it clear now. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And also hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of every future upload I make. So, and go ahead and be a good, like, a good friend. And make sure you share this channel with all of your family and friends. That's the most important. <laughs> all right, guys, again, leave me your comments below. And don't forget to come back for another video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.